basically those targets or those um, projects that have been estimated in the 2017 budget and which has not been implemented will definitely find their way into the 2018 budget. So for me, it's just going to be a rehash of the 2017 budget statement. Are you optimistic anything will be different in 2018? Well, they couldn't do it in 2017 as you claim, but they may get it to their second show. What, what, what I estimate, uh, what I expect is for the minister to say that we have realized that there are some taxes that we have abolished, which has affected the revenue targets. And for that matter, we are taking a second look at those uh, taxes that have been abolished. And bring uh, back those taxes. Yeah, and bring them back. Okay. Any bring, specifics? Yeah. And bring them back. For example, one, the Snapper's staff for uh, uh, tax for the Abu Sokai people. I don't know whether you use the vehicle. And if you patronize the spare parts at Abu Sokai, have you seen any change in the prices of these spare parts? I don't think prices have reduced. So that policy is not good. It's, it's, it's denying government revenue and spreading that revenue in the pockets of the traders. So it's not a good policy. We spoke against it. That there is no mechanism in place to ensure that if people who buy the spy pass, which are Ghanaian, are the target people to benefit from that policy, they remove the VAT on airfares. When it domestic airfare, they remove the VAT on it. It is not everybody who can afford air tickets. It is some particular class of people who can afford air tickets. So do you think, for example, that the tax on domestic airfare that was removed should probably be reintroduced? It should be reintroduced. It should be reintroduced because the class of people that is affected can afford. Where the tax cannot be, can, can, will affect the poor that we know that they are already suffering and you are taxing them more, that is what they do because they